Hello! In this video, I'm going to illustrate how you can show water effect in objects. For this, three different modifiers can be used, namely the noise, wave and the ripple command. First, I'm going to show the noise command. For this, we need a plane. So we go to object type, select our plane and draw one. Under the parameters of the set plane, you can change the length or the width. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to add a few more segments. Keeping segments is important if you want to apply noise modifier. Keep as much or as less as you like. And now since they're not showing up, I'm going to go to default shading and add edged faces. Now that they're visible, I'm going to go to the modifier and in the modifier list, I'm going to type noise and apply it. Under the parameters in the noise modifier, there is this box of strength. Since I want movement in the plane to show the water effect, I want to raise the X axis. For the same reason, we're going to increase the value of the X axis in the strength parameter. And since no change is showing up just yet, we're going to go to the scale in the parameters and decrease that. The less the scale is, the more the movement will show and the more the scale is, the less the movement would be visible. Now I'm going to raise the X strength a little more for some clearer results. You can see the changes that are being made. Plane clearly has more movement than it did before. We go back there and adjust the scale and the Z axis a little more. In order to make sure that it looks like water, I'm going back to the modifier list and applying Turbo Smooth. If I close the etched faces now, looks rather more like water but still the parameters in noise can be changed if, and if it were blue maybe that would demonstrate better change the scale as you can see this looks more like water than it was doing before this is the noise modifier you can use this for swimming pool or a stream wherever you want to show the effect of water. If you want to add something more, go to ba go back to noise modifier under parameters. Click here and play with the roughness. If you like. These are all the factors and little values that you can play with to reach your desired result. This is a noise modifier. If you want to play around even more, we go back to noise and click this little arrow against noise and go to gizmo. And here we change the Y axis and show some movement. You can see that. And now if you want to animate that in order to show that as an MP4 file, we go down in the parameters and select animate noise. All you have to do is go down here and play animation and you can see the water effect much more clearly. This is another way that you can animate your water effect. This was noise modifier. Now moving on to the wave command. For that we go back to object type and under the object type we're going to select a plane again. Draw a plane, go back down under the parameters and add some segments. They are already there. Default shading, edge faces so that they show up. Now we're going to go back to modify in the modifier list. Type wave and apply that command. Once applied, go under parameters of the wave command and you can Raise the aptitude and the second one. 
we can also go back to plane and add a little more segments so that it shows better and going back to the wave command the aptitude changes and aptitude 2 is getting changed and maybe the wavelength too if we close edged phrases from right here and go back to changing the aptitudes and the wavelength play around with these but you get the idea that it looks more like waves and this can also be used to show a roof a perforated roof or curtains for that matter i'm going to set a different value for aptitude just to show you 50 let this be around 45 and let's raise the wavelength a little more as you can see it's looking more like waves and less perforated and restricted this was the wave modifier now moving on to the last one which is the ripple modifier now for this one i'm going to go back to object type and this time rather than plane i'm going to select a cylinder you can do the same with plane and no problem with occur now i'm going to draw a cylinder just that depth that's it under the parameters I'm going to check the segments and add a few more segments. Uh, not necessarily in the height, but at least in the cap segments. Going back to edge faces just to make sure that these segments are applied and there they are. Now we go back to modify and under modify list, this time we are going to type ripple and apply the same effect. I'm just going to zoom in so that I can show this better. Now going back to the ripple modifier under parameters, I'm going to play with these values again. Raise them. I'm going to do 40 for this one. Perhaps. Yeah, 40. You can see the changes. This one, let's say 20. And the wavelength. I'm going to remove edged faces so that it looks better. But you can see the effect that this modifier causes and obviously it does not look much more like water right now but we are going to play with these values so that it does and with this i'm going to also apply turbo smooth so that it looks better going back to the ripple under parameters play with these parameters raise them decrease them as you can see that looks more like a ripple effect if you want to have just a part of the ripple effect in uh, some of your project we can also do that going back to ripple effect in this little arrow go to gizmo and move the y-axis or the x-axis and the result changes so these are three ways of doing the water effect one of them can also be animated and obviously all three of them can be done in the shapes that i showed and other than that for example the ripple effect can be showed just as good in a plane as it was in a cylinder and that applies for all of them